Dream big, cause boy, you're gonna make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road you're taking. Let go of everything that you know and be wild in the mystery. Yeah. Well, happy Friday. From Las Vegas. We got delivered yesterday. After our delivery, we noticed we had developed a coolant leak. Oh my gosh. One of the coolant lines that comes from the engine going back to our bunk and stuff started leaking. <laughs> we went to the Freightliner here in Vegas. Yeah. We got there, it was like around noon because we actually, after we delivered, we went to the uh, what is that? Morton's Travel Plaza to dump yep. the pot, fill up the water, shower. Take showers and... And uh, actually, I messed the generator up again, too. Yes. <laughs> Jason was showering and I was blow drying my hair. We had the AC on high. And then all of a sudden, all the electric went off again. Not all the electric, but everything, the generator runs the um, AC, the, the cooktop. So we were like, oh man, is it the capacitor again? And there was a carrier right down the road because before we got there, we stopped and got stuff to uh, get the, um, to do the maintenance for the APU. Yep, yep. We had got <laughs> all the filters and stuff. And so, it, we changed the capacitor and it was not it this time. I don't know if we got a bad capacitor or- A bad breaker. What, a bad breaker, I don't know. So yeah. we're gonna need to go to a carrier dealership for this crap. Yeah, well, I think what we're going to do, so so the Freightliner has the truck now, There's, but they didn't work on it yesterday because they said the coolant and stuff was too hot for them to work on it. So we came to a hotel last night because we couldn't stay in the truck because we had no AC and it's 108 degrees here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we could have stayed in the truck. They said, oh, yeah, well, you we could have. You could park out front and stay in the truck if you want. But, of course, the problem, even if we did have air conditioning, is our APU coolants lines are tied into the engine lines so and that's the coolant line that's uh, busted is the one traveling back towards the apu and the bunk heater and all that stuff so um they were trying to claim that it ain't under warranty but i contacted somebody last night and so freightliner installed the coolant lines coming back to a certain point and that's where they put a shutoff valve at and you have like an emergency shutoff valve in case engine or APU busts the coolant line but you can't run the APU without the coolant without the coolant on you can run the engine without with uh, the coolant valve shut off but you can't run the APU with it because it needs a radiator but <laughs> so we couldn't even run the APU anyway because it just would have been pouring out coolant yeah. and we couldn't run the engine to idle and because that would have been pouring out coolant. So we just decided to get a hotel room. Yeah, they're supposed to start working on it this morning. We'll see if they're going to do it under warranty or if it's something we're going to have to get with a uh, Freightliner. I, we had this issue with our last truck when we first got it. Yeah. And we had a, was it a seal on one of the wheels? And we were in California. Yeah. They, they tried to claim it wasn't warranty, so we paid, but then we had to get with FIDA, warranty department, and then they got it straightened out. And then they sent us a check uh, reimbursing <laughs> us, but. Yeah. But, so that's where Velocity we're Express, though. That's where our, velo not Velocity Express. <laughs> Velocity Freightliner here in, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know about them. <laughs> I am having some serious doubts about them. I, they are trying to be extremely shady with us. Yeah, because when when they first told us the estimate, they told them twenty one hundred dollars. I'm like, to fix a coolant leak? <laughs> it's up. I got. Oh, I get raised my voice so loud. I was like, are you stupid? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not stupid. You ain't getting over on me like that, you yeah. know. And then after that, it went down to eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm still going to raise hell about that, but it, it's going to be covered under warranty because yeah. it was a coolant line installed from the factory by Freightliner. Yeah. That's how we, uh, the truck was spec to have those uh, because they knew we were going to be having bodybuilder things put on, custom sleeper, <laughs> APUs, yeah. you know, all that extra stuff. So they do run coolant lines off the engine back <laughs> to a certain point on the frame. So yeah. I'm going to go, ha I'm going to have to go argue that with them and I'm sure are probably going to be difficult. You know what one thing I've noticed is the dealerships out west seem to be quite shady. Yeah, well I guess they, 
they will do everything they can to try to tell you it's not covered under warranty. Uh, I don't know what the reasoning is. Maybe they don't get paid as much. Or, That's what I think it is. Yeah, but they are not getting over on me. <laughs> no. They may be, get, be able to get over on drivers who don't know mechanics and things like that on how to fix their own truck. But I do. And I know how to, I mean, honestly, I could have fixed this thing myself if I had somewhere to drain the coolant into. I guess I could always go get five gallon buckets and swap them out and drain it out <laughs> and then pour it back in once I'm done. But, but the issue is it's going to be 108 again here today. And there's, ooh, yeah, it's just too hot to be trying ooh, to do that kind of work, ooh, intensive work. It's not that it's a hard ooh. job. It's a hose. But the problem is. The heat and getting it it's, and getting it's got to it. Heat shield on it. And yes. it. Yeah, it does have to have new heat shield put on yeah. because it runs by the turbo and the exhaust line. And mm -hmm. but if, from what it looks like to me, and this is my observation of it, is uh, they use clamps to route the coolant line away from the exhaust, and those clamps, one of them looked to be way too tight. Oh, maybe it like rubbed a hole. Or I, something. I, I think. Uh, just crimped a hole in it yeah, maybe yeah. bent it the way it shouldn't have been bent yeah. and um, I, I told jason it's funny because two videos ago or last week the one about the the truck the being lemon. a lemon and yeah. then this we, we jinxed, jinxed ourselves, ourselves? Yeah, no. yeah but these things happen guys it's just it's a nature of the of the beast you know yeah i do think we were talking last night that after the truck's done here at freightliner we may make a trip to ohio yeah, I think we're going to go. To There's, go to the place that did actual install on the APU yep. because there obviously there's an issue. If the capacitor, I don't think it's that now. I think it's another issue because the breaker's not tripping. When yesterday why when isn't I was the breaker drying, tripping? It should have tripped the breaker. It should have tripped the breaker, not blown everything. Yeah, so and now we, we don't know what it is. So. There's something wrong. And Plus, they need to rewire where they wired it wrong into the, the, into the breaker box inside. Yep, yep, so yep, yep. we're really debating on just go ahead and bite the bullet and drive into Ohio to get that stuff done. I, I don't know if you remember enough. It's been a few weeks back, probably a month ago where they had put the wrong centromatics on the front. We need to go get that. I mean, we already replaced those, <coughs> but we need to go get either our money back for that or another set or from another the place set that put from the, the wrong place. ones yeah. on there in Ohio. Yeah, and yeah. so there's a couple issues that the places are in Ohio. We need to go and yeah, we can't be running without an AP. <laughs> All right, we're pushing seven minutes. Oh my gosh, we're rambling. We so. are gonna catch up with y'all later and keep you updated on how this Freightliner dealership goes. <laughs> I've been in the darkness for 40 days. Well, we made it to Freightliner. Me and the babies are in the little waiting room here and Jason is talking to them to see what's going on. It looked like they had the truck pulled up to the bay when we pulled up in the Uber. So we'll see what he says, what's happening. I don't know. Hopefully we're out of here soon. <laughs> what's the verdict? They haven't started. They're saying it's not covered under the warranty. I'm getting FIDA Freightliner involved. Get FIDA on the phone. I've been searching for holy flames, a sign to light up the way. So can you help me out? Can you help me out? Well, howdy doody. Hello again. Well, we have left. Las Vegas yeah. <laughs> with a fixed truck. Yeah, it is all fixed and <laughs> no more coolant leak. And No, that Velocity Freightliner, Jason was so mad with them. Absolutely livid. <sighs> they're, the worst part is their communication. Yeah. Their communication <laughs> was absolutely horrid. We all understand that trucks truck dealers you know they're hard to get into i i do give them props they got us in they did get us in yesterday didn't they, get it fixed yesterday but they got it in to they look did at get it. us in i give them that but their communication throughout the whole process was just horrible and they're trying to say it wasn't covered under warranty because 
it wasn't a Freightliner issue. The issue was when they put the body on, or the I guess the sleeper or the APU, one of them, yeah. that they stretched a hose. Or no, they were saying that hose wasn't even there from Freightliner. They put a new hose. Or... Yeah, they're saying whoever installed either the sleeper or the the APU is the one that installed that hose. And the way they installed it, it was rubbing up against the the right like some sharp piece of metal. Mm -hmm. It was rubbing up against it. And that's what happened just yeah. over time rubbing up against it it caused it to <laughs> cut a hole in it so stuff happens like we say you know we're not mad that it happens stuff happens but, but good I, I was just gonna say so we did end up having to pay like 627 dollars but before they started on it, we did call Fida Freightliner, spoke to Neil. We appreciate him so much. They're covering it. They're going to reimburse us the money. And, and he's going to go. He's going to find out who he needs to go yeah, get it from. Yeah, they're going to get it from Somebody whoever. made a yeah. mistake. Yeah. If that somebody made a mistake, we should not have to pay for it. Um, whoever installed that hose, there is a warranty. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, AA comes with a one-year unlimited mile. Um, the Comfort Pro comes with a... A warranty everything's under warranty still yes. so but it was a matter of tracking down who, who was responsible needs to pay for it right right but and i didn't even have that problem with uh velocity yeah that was not a issue at all my big issue was their communication yeah. um just the way they handled it treated us anytime i asked questions i was bothering them i was you know it was it was Horrible. Yeah, horrible experience oh, horrible. with them as far as that's concerned. And this is our second time at a Freightliner this week. We yeah. were at Middle Georgia Freightliner last oh, week. Oh, man, they were, oh, my gosh, like 10 stars for them. Yeah, Velocity with no star. One no. star for getting us in and looking at it yesterday. Yeah, but that's the it. rest, no. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it, that's just, you know, some dealers are great. Some aren't. I mean, some shops are great. Some aren't. I, yeah, you know. Yeah. But, again, I... We cannot. And, sorry. Sorry, I cut, I'm cutting you I'm off. I'm cutting sorry. you off. I'm cutting you off. <laughs> I just wanted to say again a big thanks to Neil at Fida Freightliner huge, because he didn't have to thanks. do that. And yeah, I why mean, we, it, why we keep going back that's there? That's the customer service that they give to their the people that purchase trucks there. And I just think and it's are they awesome. perfect? No. Nobody's. You know, none of them are. None perfect, of them are perfect, but. but Communication will make you perfect in my book. Yeah, absolutely. Communication is key. I just think, because he doesn't have to do that. He, he did not have to, you know, cover it or whatever. I mean, technically it is covered. It's just, yeah. you know, golly. We we had this issue with our last truck too. We did. We, when we first, maybe I already said this. When we this first bought clip. it. Yeah, yeah when I think we, I might have already said that. But. Yeah, wheel seal went out and, and we we didn't even have but like 20,000 miles on <laughs> it. It wasn't even that much. No, it was. It was and uh, it, we had to, they took care of that too. You know, that, Fida that, Freightliner. that, that well, shop charged us and we called FIDA. And, and FIDA got Got it, got in, like worked it out for us. And they, yeah. the dealer that in California that made us, that pay for it, ended up sending us a check. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, gosh, this is the second time yeah, for FIDA's. So grateful for that. Came through. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. But we are in <laughs> Utah. Utah, actually, because yep. yep. we did decide that we're just going to go ahead and deadhead to Ohio. Because we still don't have air conditioning we, yeah. in the sleeper. we got to get the generator issue fixed. They're something's, fixing that. Something's up with that. and They're fixing that. Somebody's just, fixing it. Yeah. Something <laughs> that we can't figure out. So, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're going to head there. Yeah. It's, it's 2,000 miles, but it's got to be fixed. And... <laughs> We're going to go do something pretty cool and exciting, I think. Yeah, yeah. Y'all will find maybe. out about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about yeah. it. Maybe in this vlog. Maybe the next vlog. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. But we're going to let these babies out and go potty and knock out some miles. We'll probably stop somewhere tonight. We're on the, we're going to be going the 70. Oh, what a beautiful drive. A beautiful drive. Love it. It's already getting dark. No GoPro so. footage. No, we're using All the big camera. All the good cameras on this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Well, let's let these guys out. We'll check up with you guys later along the trip. I've been more certain of truth before. Called a righteous man before 
Sunday. Fun day from <laughs> Kansas. Still heading to Ohio. We are still on our way to Ohio. We stopped last night in uh, Wakini, Kansas and stayed at a KOA there. Yeah, it was a nice little, little campground. It was windy as oh heck. Oh my God, it was windy ever since Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> We've been in the wind. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you guys seen the clips here uh, previously of the two trucks we came across pulled over. Y you know, blown over. Blown over, yeah. yeah. It was stormy yesterday, <sighs> rain most of the day. Luckily, it wasn't raining last night, but yeah, really windy. And, yeah, yeah. It's it dying was, down now. It was really, it, it is. We're on the I-70 east of Topeka. Just went through Topeka a little bit, a bit back, but yeah, yeah, man. Right. Yeah, what'd y'all think about that scenery? Oh my gosh, the 70 has some of the beautiful, most yes. beautiful scenery through Utah and Probably Colorado. my favorite drive. Oh my gosh. Probably yeah, my favorite drive. It's just beautiful. If not number two, just, just. Was number one. I hate the road. Yeah. I well, hate it's the because, road on the 70. Well, because a lot of it is, you know, mountainous. So there's a lot of chain up areas. So yeah. trucks have to use chains in the winter and it just tears, tears up the road. Tears up the concrete. And when you go driving through that, it's like swaying <laughs> back and forth because you're like stuck in this groove. Grooves and, of where the chains are. Oh have gone my gosh, it's so bad. It yeah. Yeah. It's, but it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My, I, number one, I, I think that's number one, but I don't know. Up on the 90, going through Montana, Montana the west Idaho, side of Montana. Um, yeah, that's pretty too. The 84, going through Oregon is yeah. really beautiful. Yeah, along the river. There, there's a lot, but I-70 is, is up there. It's just beautiful. It's up there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, I you, could. You don't drive, not drive through there and just be in awe. Yeah. If you get through there during the daytime, that is. Because yeah, at nighttime, yeah. you you ain't seeing nothing. We've been through there many of <laughs> times at nighttime. Yeah. And oh we're just goodness. like, <sighs> yeah. Cause we actually Friday night, we stopped in Utah at a view area at the, I think it's called the San Rafael swell. Yeah. You might've seen a picture on Instagram of it, but we were going to stay there the night and get up the next day and do some drone footage and stuff there. But it was raining, it was raining, it was windy it was and it was going to be raining the next day. And it was hot. It was like yeah. It was like 84 degrees inside the truck. Yeah, and we can't. The AC is not working with the generator yeah. right now, which is why we're going to Ohio to yeah, the generator yeah. place. I but. know a lot of people are going to be like, "That's just crazy." <laughs> I think you're crazy to sit in Vegas over the weekend. Well, I mean, I guess we could have went to a campground for the weekend and plugged up and waited. Well, I don't know. But we tried to go to a campground in Vegas before, and it was one of those resorts where they wouldn't let us stay. Well, the KOA in Vegas allows straight oh, trucks. Oh, I didn't even realize they yeah. had a KOA there. And then there's yeah. uh, the one, if it's even open, at the Carnival Casino. Oh, yeah, We've yeah. We've stayed at that yeah. one before, That's, too. But yeah, true. But golly, so hot. 107. It, it's so hard on the dog's little pitter-potters, well, patters. <laughs> <laughs> another issue is Carrier could look at the generator. Yes, they couldn't get us in Friday. So it probably would have been they were saying next been week. Monday yeah, or Yeah, they Tuesday. said, oh, uh, you're going to have to leave it with us. It'll be next week. And another issue we need to get fixed is that wire that they had wired into the shore power, which Jason had fixed it's temporarily but uh, they have fixed it but that's then, not a carrier issue that's the place that installed the generator right, so right. they need to so fix that they need so. to fix that it's yeah we're just biting the bullet and doing that but yeah. oh my gosh yeah hopefully it'll be i think it's gonna be nice in ohio we'll be in columbus and 
Yeah, I think the weather is going to be pretty nice there. Yeah. 80s, 90s during the day, and then 60s, 70s at night. So. Yeah, we actually were about, <laughs> oh gosh, what, seven, 600 miles from there now? Yeah. So we were going to look for a campground to stay at tonight because we're just kind of moseying. And I found a KOA in Casey, Illinois. Yeah. Made an online reservation, yep. put in our truck's 40 foot, whatever, yep. and they called. And I guess evidently it's a small KOA. And so they canceled our reservation. <laughs> yeah, they didn't think we would fit. So yeah, they're like, nope, back to the you drawing come. board. Come on. You cannot come in. She kind of seemed grouchy, though. She was like an older lady, and she was like, because whenever we do the online, you mark other. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she called, and she's all, what's other? <laughs> I'm like, well, we're a straight truck, kind of like a toter home. Well, I don't know what a straight truck is or a toter home. <laughs> well, we can send you a picture. Does it have a bathroom? Because our bathrooms are closed right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, gosh. I knew she, right uh, then she was going to say, yeah. no, we couldn't come there. But. So we're like, okay, well, we'll find something else. And usually it's funny because we don't have issues usually at KOAs. Usually we don't. all yeah, KOAs yeah. let us in. Yeah, but no. it is a smaller campground because I, I always Lots too of, try to look on Google. Yeah. But, yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do tonight because I, I think it's going to be warm. We're going to knock out most of the miles to get there I'm going to knock out but... some miles a day, but, yeah, it's going to be warm tonight wherever we stop. So we're going to have to find another. Figure out Well, something. you know what we ought to do is just pick up a little Honda generator. Then we could plug the shore power up to that and be able to at least run the <laughs> air conditioning. True. That's true. I don't know. We might do that. We need one for the Airstream. We do need one for their stream, but not a little one. We need we know, one that's going to run our AC in the we stream. We need a pretty big one. Yeah, yeah. it'd be about $4,500. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that right now. No, but... no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> we'll tried. figure something I out. Tried. But we are going to end this vlog here. Let these babies out. Stay tuned to see what happens while we're in Ohio getting this stuff fixed, cool. I guess. Cool. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. <laughs> you guys ready to go potty? Hey, you need to go potty? Hey, you need to go potty? Do you need to go? I just want my booty scratched. <laughs>